Wound healing in man is a fascinating process that's evolved over millions of years of evolution. In terms of um, the processes that are involved, there are many overlapping stages from the time that you cut yourself to the time that you heal. So immediately your blood coagulates and then the process of inflammation kicks in and then that's overlapped by matrix being formed and the wound being closed. Injury induces a series of events. The first thing that occurs is that the um, blood flow has to stop. And the second step is uh, the initiation of what we call the inflammatory response. Its primary function is to uh, fight in potential infection. And this is mediated primarily by white blood cells that are recruited to the injury site and they're called the innate immune cells. They, that includes neutrophils and macrophages. Their primary purpose is to uh, fight the bacteria that might enter the, the, the in injury area. But more recently, people have come to realize that, that those inflammatory cells take many more roles than just uh, fighting infection. They also coordinate the, in, the uh, wound healing response. And there's some of them that are pro-healing and others that actually are involved in uh, forming scars. So one of the things that we are trying to uh, uh, investigate is understand how we might be able to manipulate the inflammatory response such that we can inhibit scarring and improve healing responses. When you look across the species, the lower in the phylogenetic scale that you look at, i.e. an amphibian, you can chop an arm off and the entire thing grows out. Whereas in man, if you took a pin to yourself and it, you make a deep enough cut, you'll have a permanent mark. We don't regenerate as an adult mammal. In fact, in mammals, only in the first trimester of gestation, uh, you're able to, to heal scarless. Whereas in most mammals and adults, adult mammals are unable to, uh, to regenerate their skin following any form of an injury. In, in our research, we study inflammation during wound healing and tissue regeneration using amphibian uh, uh, models. So that includes things like salamanders and frogs. And the reason we study them is because they are particularly good at healing and regenerating. When they heal a wound, they, it results in a perfect healing without scarring. And the second thing that they can do is that they can regenerate complex tissues, like uh, in, including limbs and tails completely. Um, so they, they are able to do all of these things that really we wish we could do, but we can't as yet. As yet they have exactly the same kind of responses. For example, the, the inflammatory response um, to injury is very much the same. So we think that by studying them, we can learn a lot more about how we might be able to heal and regenerate better. There are technologies that are also being used in order to accelerate body's own ability to heal. Uh, whether it's uh, using um, chemicals and or cells um, in, in the shape of stem cells and or external forms of energy. Two of the treatment modalities I've been interested in is um, a use of photodynamic therapy where you use um, a light of a particular wavelength and a topical and by doing that you, you have the ability to um, stimulate cells and uh, make a, um, a different outcome to the quality of the wound. And the other form of energy that I've been very interested in is the use of electrical stimulation. Particularly of late, its use has become more um, valued in looking at how that form of energy in, in the right waveform can actually accelerate repair, particularly as th there are no side effects. One of the, uh, the things that we would like to understand is what is the molecular and cellular mechanisms that underlie the capacity of these 
um, amphibians to heal wounds without scars and how to regenerate complex tissues like limbs. And in that respect, we are studying uh, many of the genes that are being activated during these processes. And what's really quite intriguing is that many of those genes that they uh, instigate for, the, for re regenerating and for healing, we, can, we find them also in humans. We think that they're actually using the mechanisms that we have slightly differently. So there is some reasons to think that actually just by manipulating the existing genes in our uh, genome, we might be able to heal and regenerate better than we do. The holy grail of wound healing it would be one day that you um, are able to regenerate skin so that when you have a cut, when you have an operation, when you have trauma, when you've been through a burn, um, you have the... Um, we have the ability and the means to enable your body to regenerate itself.